for Saturday night's historic night of boxing action taking place at the world's most famous arena. All the action is brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing USA. We're sponsored by William Hill, StubHub, Tecate, the official beer of boxing, Hennessy, Never Stop, Never Settle, and JD Sports. Now, all the action will be broadcast live around the world on DAZN, so please download the app before fight night. And speaking of, tickets are very limited, so you can pick them up at StubHub.com, Ticketmaster.com, or MSG.com. And, of course, this will be broadcast live exclusively in the United Kingdom on Sky Sports. So, ladies and gentlemen, August of 1965, the Fab Four landed here in New York City and invaded Shea Stadium. And the world was never the same. But the British invasion didn't end there. In 1972, the great Scott Lightweight fought Roberto Duran right here at Madison Square Garden. Actually ended in a controversial 13-round stoppage. And then in 1997, the dazzling charge from Sheffield, Prince Nassim Hamed took on the flushing flash Kevin Kelly. Actually became the 97 Fight of the Year Ring Magazine in a four-round stoppage. Then, of course, in 1999, the Lion, Lennox Lewis, took on Evander Holyfield for the first of their two fights right here in this building, Madison Square Garden. Again, controversy, split, split decision draw. It's a split draw. And I was here in the building on November 8th in 2008 when Joe Calzaghe dissected the great Roy Jones Jr. But ladies and gentlemen, this Saturday, June 1st, 2019, the British invasion continues as Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing USA has put together an incredible fight card. And of course, at the top of the bill, the heavyweight championship of the world, Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz. But the undercard is worthy of being at the top table. And I have to say, I don't know if the American fans really know what they're in store to see on Saturday night. I'm talking about the dazzling hand speed and great footwork of the 147 pound charge from Sunderland pretty boy Josh Kelly or the explosive power of the great 175-pounder from Croydon, Joshua Buatzi, or the transcendent talent of the Irish fighter, Katie Taylor, or maybe the best 168-pounder on the planet from Liverpool, Mundo Callum Smith, and more. It's a great undercard, and now here to tell you all about it and introduce you to the great fighters for the card here Saturday night at Madison Square Garden, the man that put it together, the architect, the president of Matchroom Boxing USA, Mr. Eddie Hearn. That was, that was one of those really reluctant claps, wasn't it? You know, thought you could have done better. Welcome, welcome, and what an honor to be sitting here in Madison Square Garden in a theater where I've only managed to get to the theater in terms of promoting. Promoted at this great venue right here twice. Danny Jacobs winning the IBF Super uh, Middleweight World Championship. Also Demetrius Andrade defending his world title in January. But now we upgrade to the big daddy. The mecca of boxing at Madison Square Garden, the big arena. Sugar Ray Robinson against Jake LaMotta. Joe Louis against Rocky Marciano. Ali Frazier, one and two. And who can forget... Mr. T and Hulk Hogan against Rowdy Roddy Piper as well. One of the great nights at the Garden. We know that, of course, we've seen everybody here and Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz at the workout yesterday. What a turnout. I think it shocked the American media. It shocked the American public that we can create interest and great crowds and great moments at these Fight Week events. And that's what promoting is all about, building a crescendo to a night of boxing on Saturday that you will really, really enjoy. In fact, you will see one of the great atmospheres in this country for boxing on Saturday night. Around 8,000 Brits come in here to sing Sweet Caroline, to drink your bars dry, to show you how to create an amazing atmosphere. And just a few hundred tickets left now. We will have a complete sellout on Saturday night at Madison Square Garden. So if you haven't got your tickets, you need to do so very, very quickly. This is an amazing moment promoting the World Heavyweight Championship at Madison Square Garden, but we needed to produce an undercard that we could all remember. I needed to make sure that our creme de la creme got the opportunity to be in major fights and showcase their talents on this kind of stage. I'm so excited, I can't even begin to imagine how excited these people are to get the chance to box there 
in, for some people, career-defining fights. As always, we'll be streamed live on DAZN in America, and for the UK fans, Sky Sports, Box Office, what a night you've got in store. The Champions League, Liverpool against Tottenham, and as soon as that fight, that fight, which probably will be a fight as well, but that game ends, we're straight over Sky Sports box office and we get the action underway for hours on hours of ex excitement and world-class, world championship boxing before we go to the main event. Now to speak on behalf of our UK broadcaster Sky Sports, I'm going to pass over to the head of boxing, Adam Smith, to say a few words. Thanks, Eddie. It's uh, another special sporting weekend ahead and uh, what a special arena this is, the most famous in the world, Madison Square Garden. Um, David mentioned about the flushing flash, Kevin Kelly welcoming Prince Nassim Hamad and all the, the posters up around Times Square when Naz came back in December 97. It was a, a fire fest that night in a phenomenal atmosphere in the garden. 20 years since uh, Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield fought to that controversial draw and now AJ's here lighting up New York. Uh, posters everywhere. I thought the workout was fantastic yesterday down in the financial district and uh, there's a real buzz around the city and uh, it's, it's an honour to be here again and it's magnificent to have so much talent on display on Saturday night. Tommy Coyle is bouncing around like a little boy. He's so happy to be here. It's a fantastic story. The, the boy from Hull who's come all the way here to New York and tackling Chris Algieri, a, a great talker and a great fighter himself and uh, what a way to get things started. Really looking forward to seeing two of our great, great hopes, Joshua Bawatsi and Josh Kelly uh, in action. I believe both of them are going the whole way. Uh, it's wonderful having Katie Taylor attempting to become the undisputed champion and saving the toughest till the end, the WBC and champion Delphine Pursoon. And that is going to be some fight and some test for Katie. What an achievement if she can come through it. Uh, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters, in my opinion, male or female in this world today. And Callum Smith, the leading super middleweight after that uh, terrific display in the World Super Series against George Groves. It's time to get Callum back on our screens. It's been a long time, but really looking forward to getting him going again. And he's got a tough one in Hassan Nadan, who I've uh, known a long time. He's uh, a tough warrior. He'll give it everything. What an opportunity he has. What an opportunity they all have, Eddie, uh, on this stage before the big boys uh, get to work, uh, AJ and Andy Ruiz Jr. So enjoy it, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the build-up on Sky Sports News, on SkySports.com and everything. It's going to be a super event on Sky Sports box office Saturday night. And as you said, after the football, when Liverpool win, it's going to be a wonderful night here too. Thank you, Adam. Um, we have, away from the championship fights, three exceptional talents on the card as well. Austin Amo Williams, one of the top US amateurs that turned pro with us recently in Los Angeles. He will be making his debut at Madison Square Garden. Unbelievable talent. Diego Pacheco, the 18-year-old Mexican, already 3-0, coming off a great win in Los Angeles as well. And I'm delighted to welcome up as well Anthony Joshua's latest signing, Solomon Sizoko, one of the best fighters to come out of France in a long, long time. Olympic bronze medalist as well. Solomon, welcome. Looking forward to fighting on Saturday night. Say a few words, please. Thanks, uh, Mushroom. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, it's a very, very good um, fight car. I did a great tra training camp, and uh, I can't wait to show you uh, who I am. Thanks. Thank you, Solomon. Let's go to Tommy Coyle. Tommy, what a story. I mean, I've seen your build-up on your own social media for this. I think to say you're excited is, is a slight understatement, but can you quite believe it? I see you walking around and you get the chance on Saturday, not just to fight at Madison Square Garden, but to be in a fight that could completely flip your career on its head. And I think the winner of this fight has to go on and challenge for a world title at 140 pounds. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd be fighting at the Mecca of Boxing, which is Madison Square Garden, and I'm so, so excited. But it's a huge, huge opportunity for me to, you know, go on and do something which I probably never thought had happened in my career. And, um, you know, with opportunity comes pressure, but without pressure you don't get diamonds. And I genuinely think Saturday night, 
I'm going to go in there and shine like a diamond. I think it's I think it's the right time for me. I've I've improved as a fighter. Um, and I'm really coming into my own now. Uh, I'm just mega excited. I keep laughing to myself. Uh, I'm waiting for somebody to tell me it's a prank. <laughs> I'm usually pulling the pranks, but um, it's happening. I'm here, and it's going off. How important is it to stay in the moment and not just get completely carried away with the excitement? Because you've made some massive improvements over Jamie Moore. I know you both believe this is a fight that you can win. Oh, 100%. This is a very winnable fight. It's a great fight. Listen, Chris Algieri is a fantastic fighter. He's a better dresser. He dresses fantastic. <laughs> I like his style. Um, but I really, really think this is a fight for me where I can really look good. Um, I'm not going to have to go find him. I just think the styles will gel fantastically. And I know I've got too much inside. Thank you, Tommy. I'm going to pass over now to Chris Algieri's promoter, Joe DeGuardier. Joe, welcome. And uh, this is a great fight. We've talked about it for a while. Um, Chris, we know he's, uh, he had his problems on fight week for his last fight, but obviously this is a fight that's going to take him back to challenging for the world title. Yes, it's a pleasure to be here. Something really special, this fight between Tommy and Chris. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's going to be the battle of the mics or the battle of the ring, because both of them are great speakers, um, and Chris's history is just something special. We are, as a team, pleased to be here, Eddie, thank you. Um, the Zone, uh, taking over boxing. Uh, it's a perfect place to watch. And be sure to tune in early on The Zone, because this is going to be on early. It's going to be a great fight leading into the World Championship here at Madison Square Garden, the mecca of boxing. It's, it's always spectacular to be fighting at Madison Square Garden. No place in the world like it. Really looking forward to this fight between Tommy and Chris Algieri. Chris has been something special behind uh, and outside the ring. Um, between his interviews, between what he's done as a nutritionist, working with other fighters. But inside the ring, he's been something special as well. And we remember what he was like being on the canvas twice in the first round, getting up. His eye completely closed, almost reminded you of the old days like Carmen Basilio with that eye completely closed. And yet getting up and beating Ruslan Provodnikov to win the championship of the world. I know Chris is hungry to get his title back. He's never lost at 140 pounds. And Tommy's standing in the way. And Eddie has it right. The winner of this fight probably fights for the championship of the world next. So we're looking forward to it and certainly looking forward to the whole night, Saturday night, on the zone here at Madison Square Garden. Thanks again, and I'll turn it over to former world champion Chris Algieri. Thank you, Joe. Chris, over to you, my friend. Thank you, Joe. Um, just first of all, I want to thank uh, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing for putting on this amazing event, to my promoter, Joe DeGuardia from Star Boxing, uh, as well as Sky Sports, which is going to be great to be exposed to a whole new fan base out there, uh, to the zone, which is the premier streaming app for, for all things boxing now, and a bunch of other things as well. But um, I think it really is the wave of the future in terms of where we are now, where networks are starting to fall and apps are starting to become the major thing. So um, yeah, but this fight, this is, this is a huge opportunity. This is, this is exactly why I came back to the sport. I want to be a world champion. This fight with Tommy Coyle puts me back in that position. So I've got to go out there, not only win, but look impressive and angle myself for another world title run. You know, this is, this is like, a, this, like I said, this is why I'm here. I'm feeling great. This training camp has been fantastic. Um, I have an opponent in Tommy Coyle that, that, that gets me excited to go out there. And I really think it's going to be a fantastic fight. Make sure you guys tune in. And uh, yeah, there's been a lot of talk about a lot of the stuff that I've been doing outside of the ring, but I want to go back to everybody talking about what I do inside the ring. So on Saturday night, I'm looking forward to putting on a great show and uh, coming out with the victory and moving forward. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. And talking about the fight briefly, I know we talked about this fight. You've been very excited about this fight because you told me you've watched Tommy and he's always in great fights. We can't really see anything but a great fight on Saturday between you two. Yeah, absolutely. Tommy Coyle is a, a blood and guts guy, trains really hard, um, you know, uh, gives it his all when he fights, and that's, uh, that's exactly what, what I need. That's exactly what I need to get, to get up and to... Uh, to train hard and go out there and, and, and give me uh, a, a perfect foil for a great performance and uh, 
on a, on a, on a great card. So. Thank you, Chris. Um, the WBA International Light Heavyweight Championship on the line between Joshua Boazzi and Marco Antonio Paraban. Obviously, since the uh, announcement of Andy Ruiz on the card, there'll be plenty of Mexicans in the arena to support uh, Marco Antonio Paraban, who has long been an established figure, particularly 168 pounds. Saw him lose recently to Yildirim, uh, who went on to challenge for the world title. Also went the distance with Badu Jack and many others as well. And uh, for Joshua Boazzi, who has been absolutely faultless as a professional so far, racked up 10 victories in extremely impressive style. Now, not only sits in the world top 15, also sits as British champion. And I'm delighted that he gets a chance to fight here because this is exactly the kind of stage that he should be fighting on. JB, excited, ready, you look strong, you look like you've had a great camp finishing off in Miami and ready to go on Saturday. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, good evening. Good morning to everyone. Everyone's awake? Come on. But now, listen, it's a good opportunity. Um, Perry Ban, like you said, a well-known Mexican, Mexican fighter. He's going to come bring experience to the table. And um, people are curious, and everyone's almost intrigued to see what's going to happen. So it's up to me to go out there and to put on a good show. Um, I was hoping you'd be here, but I haven't seen him. But Saturday night, Friday, Friday at the, at the weigh-in, we'll see each other face-to-face. And um, Saturday night it happens. Obviously, you've had a lot of quick victories so far. I think three consecutive first-round victories and then a third-round victory in your last fight as well. Um, looking to get some rounds. I mean, like I said, he's extremely durable. Been the distance with some big names and former world champions as well. Do you expect some rounds on Saturday night or any way it comes? Yeah, I think any way it comes, man. Um, I've prepared to do 10. Um, if it goes the distance, cool. But again, if I sense any vulnerability or any opportunities there, I'll be there to take it. And um, as always, trying to entertain people. So if it goes the distance, cool. If it doesn't, happy days. And finally, tell us about that experience finishing the camp in Miami, down with AJ. Great setup down there as well. Obviously, both of you in great condition. For and, sure, it was and, a good well, experience. And well accustomed to the time difference now going into the weekend. Yeah, I, I better be, man. Um, <laughs> For me, it was good just being in Miami. It's the first time I've been in um, the U.S. overall, so it was good. Good experience seeing how Josh does things leading up to a fight like this, um, finishing off camp, like you said, in Miami, and then coming to New York to add the final touches. So it was a good experience for myself. And um, as always, I'm observing, seeing how it's done. So one day when I'm there, I can do the same thing. Thanks, JB. Look forward to that fight against Marco. <coughs> Antonio Paraban on Saturday night. Now, if you haven't seen... Josh, pretty boy Kelly fight, you're in for a real, real treat. This guy is something else. I mean, despite the fact that he's disgustingly handsome um, and carved out of stone, uh, he is just an exceptional talent. Nine fights in, um, already picked up the WBA international title, already won the Commonwealth welterweight title as well, already ranked in the top 15, top 10 now in the world, and moving at a very, very quick rate. He has a brilliant fight, and I think sometimes a fight that can go under the radar away from the boxing people. We know that Ray Robinson out of Philadelphia is a great fighter. We saw him win against, I won't pronounce his name, but the, the Latvian contender in his last fight, who is top five in every governing body. He won that fight clearly last time out, and Josh Kelly has a huge, huge step up on Saturday night, and one that I believe he will shine in and just light up Madison Square Garden on Saturday. Josh, this is made for you, my friend. And uh, Saturday night, you get a chance to defend your title at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, man, I feel um, I feel blessed to be here to get a chance to get a chance to perform on a world stage like this. Um, truly blessed. I mean, not many kids from Sunderland get this chance, so I mean, I'm taking it with both hands. But like you said, I've worked hard. I feel as though I'm ready for this step up. Um, I know Ray couldn't be here today because of family problems, so family first, and I wish him all the best with that. And then. Um, Hope, hope, hope his daughter gets better, but I mean, I'm, I'm here now and I'm, um, I'm ready to put a performance on on Saturday. I, can't, I really can't wait to get in there and um, it's gonna uh, gonna dance underneath them lights. And, and that's uh, <laughs> it. It's a bit surreal, but I'm excited. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna take it all in, and I'm gonna perform. That's the main thing, man. I can't wait. Obviously, you've been doing some amazing work with Adam Booth, and he's just got so much belief in you to move at this pace. This is a massive step up, isn't it, in Robinson? Someone that's competed towards world level and really shown that he's a world-class fighter. Are you expecting a, a tough assignment on Saturday? 100%. I mean, the last, the last fight he had was against Kavalowskis. I pronounced that well name. Well done, man. Uh, you know what I mean? Them ones. Yeah. So, yeah. Kavalowskis, and he was, um, 
he was ranked he was ranked highly like you said he was a tough opponent and a lot of people thought he won that fight so i mean this is a big step up and but i feel as though the way i've been performing in the gym the um the people i've been sparring um the way i performs the way i can perform in the ring when i'm totally switched on i feel as though ray robinson will give us that test keep my mind fully on the job and there can't be no time for complacency in there on Saturday, and I'm, I'm going to get um, I'm going to get the job done. Come away with a W, sit back and relax, and watch the rest of the card. And hopefully, all the British fighters um, do the same. Thank you, Josh Kelly against Ray Robinson on Saturday night for the WBA International Welterweight Title. We move on to our World Championship boxing, and of course, the undisputed Women's Lightweight World Championship. It's just a fight that we've wanted for so long. It has always been the fight when talking to Katie and Brian Peters. Uh, who's here somewhere, I haven't seen him yet, hello Brian, and uh, the team, Ross, you know, this was always the fight that we knew would be for the undisputed championship, because Delphine Persoon was the champion who is a big name, has the opportunity to take fights in Belgium, she's a big star over there, but she was always the toughest of the champions, and we have saved the toughest for last, the winner of this fight will be the undisputed world champion, WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, and delighted that the Ring Magazine belt is on the line for this fight as well. Of course, a belt which every fighter wants to win so badly. A, a belt that this young man to my right also holds, but just a belt that is so important to fighters. And I'm so excited for this fight, but I'm so excited for both fighters in this fight. Because to fight an undisputed fight here on this kind of stage, I'm sure is a dream for, for both fighters. And we're going to start with Delphine. Delphine, welcome. Um, a massive occasion for both of you on Saturday. Uh, yes, um, Belgium is a small country. If you see New York, I think New York is bigger than the Belgium country. <laughs> so for me, it's a, a lot of a bigger place. So the, the boxing sport in Belgium is, how do you say, not recognized. So I'm the first boxer that can make history for the Belgium boxing sport. So, yeah, for me it's very exciting. I can set the, the, the boxing sport on the court in, Bel in Belgium. And yeah, I can, if I, uh, if I go for the fight, and I'm gonna go for the fight, and I can win the fight, I think I'm the first Belgian boxer that can make, uh, how do you say it, history, and that can be undisputed champion, take uh, all the belts, take the ring magazine belt. And yeah, for me, yeah, I like it. Uh, it's 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 my passion. I want to do everything for it, and I we already prepared two months for this fight. My trainer was already two years uh, looking for this fight. He thought we never get a chance to to get this fight. No, I get a chance. We are ready, and yeah, we go for it. It's it's such a great fight. You and Katie, definitely number one and number two in the world. Probably pound for pound, the top two fighters as well, right up there in in women's boxing as well and expecting a tough fight against Katie on Saturday. She's looked very good in her career. A small number of professional fights compared to you. We know you're undefeated in nine years, but expecting a tough fight on Saturday. Uh, yes, uh, I expect it's surely a, a tough fight. Um, she had a lot more, how do you say it, experience in amateur fighting. I only was in one year amateur because in Belgium, like I say, the boxing was there not very big and there was no national team so there was not possible for me to to go to the world championship or european championship so i got no chance also to go to the olympic games and katie terror is the olympic champion for me this is also something i can how do you say it i got no chance to go to the olympic games she is the olympic champion so now i can compete with the olympic champion and hopefully defeat the olympic champion for me it's something i don't have the chance before and everybody knows, yeah, world champion is great, but Olympic champion is also great. And now I can uh, compete with the Olympic champion. For me, that's very important. I, I want to, how do you say it, do everything in my career of boxing. And now I got the chance for to do this. Thank you very much, Delphine. Thank you. Katie Taylor has, as we know, been a, a phenomenon since she laced up the gloves. She used to go into the gyms put the head guard on, pretend that she was a boy to make sure she could get the fights and get the sparring. If you haven't seen the movie, go to Netflix now to watch Katie. Incredibly, she hasn't watched the movie. I mean, how can you not watch a movie about yourself? It's unbelievable, but she hasn't yet watched it. But if you haven't watched it, you must watch it. It's an incredible story. And she has been an incredible sportsman for Ireland. She really is a legend there already. Six 
European Championships, five amateur world championships, Olympic gold, and of course already captured the WBA, the IBF, and the WBO world titles in such a short period of time. But on Saturday night, she gets her chance to achieve what I know she set out to achieve when she turned professional, which was to win all the belts. And we saw her box here on the Canelo Field in undercard, and it was just incredible. You know, the atmosphere when she fights is something else. And the reception she got yesterday and the reception she will get on Saturday night will be incredible. And it is, as she says, the biggest night of her career so far. And when you look at everything she's achieved so far, that should give you all the indication you need to tell you how important this fight is. Katie, I think I've said it all. I'll pass over to you, but this is everything to you, this challenge. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the, the minute I, I turned professional, I, I wanted to become the undisputed uh, champion, and that this is this was always my goal. So I nearly pinched myself that I had this opportunity in a few days' time in the Mecca box on Madison Square Garden. It just it can't get any bigger than this, really. So um, yeah, I'm just ready to make history. I'm ready to perform on Saturday night, and this is what I've always wanted. I know you study your opponents as well, and all, like I said, all the conversations we've had in the past was, Pursun is the real test mm. for me. You know, she is the best champion in the division. This is before you had the belts as well. Mm. And we always felt that would be possibly the hardest fight to get, but now there's too much on the line for it not to happen. Are you expecting by far the toughest fight of your career on Saturday? Yeah, definitely. Um, Delphine Pursun is a fantastic champion, and this is exactly what boxing needs. This is champion against champion, the best versus, versus the best. And um, this is what, not just what women's boxing needs, this is what boxing needs, and um, I'm definitely expecting it, the toughest test of my career, but I, I do feel prepared for this challenge, and I've had a, a really tough training camp over the last few months preparing for this, for this fight as well, and um, we're both here to make history for, for our, our nations as well, and we're both here to perform, and, and it's going to make for, for a very exciting fight. Obviously, everything you've achieved, the European Championship, the World Championships, London 2012 for the gold, this would be your finest moment, you believe, to have all those belts and, again, the Ring Magazine belt as well, absolutely everything. Yeah, this is by far uh, the biggest night of my career. This is, this is the pinnacle of boxing to have all five belts, the Ring Magazine belts, uh, as you said, is up for grabs as well. This is exactly what every, every fighter dreams of, really. Um, so... I understand how big this fight is, the magnitude of this event, but um, I can't wait for this. This is why I box this. These are fights I've always wanted, and I'm ready to make history. And last one, obviously, like I said, a legend in Ireland, the whole country, going to be watching and waiting in the ring probably around half one UK Irish time. Not too bad, not too bad. You expect a lot of people to be up, and obviously you have an entire nation behind you. Yeah, the support I've gotten over the last few years has been incredible, actually. Um, that they're all behind me, they're all, they're all cheering me on, and I hope to make everyone proud at home. Thank you. We can't wait for that. Katie Taylor against Delphine Pursun for the WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, Ring Magazine, World Championships on the line, the undisputed Women's Lightweight World Championship. We move on to the super middleweight division, and again, the WBC, the WBA, the Ring Magazine titles on the line when Callum Smith makes his first defence against former world champion Francis Hassan and Dam. Hassan, welcome. You always look a million dollars. It's always great to see you and a great opportunity for you to become a two-weight world champion on Saturday night. Good. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you. I want to first of all um, thank Adrian. Uh, thanks my team to all the work they do for me. Uh, thank my wife. Thanks everyone to be here this morning for this press conference. First of all, when they, ca they call me to fight um, Callum Smith, I, I think I think a little a little bit why because uh, Callum Smith tomorrow you're gonna uh, Saturday you're gonna watch uh, two friends, two brothers because my father is here. Um, we have a good relationship, has friend, has brother with. Paul, with Liam Smith, with Callum, and I saw him grow up in this sport uh, with Joe, who will make him very good career, and I saw him go to um, England Championship, European Championship, and Super Middle and um, Super Champion. He helped me. I helped him, and Saturday, my my trainer told me, uh, "You tell me every day you want to face." the best in the world. 
why you, you think about you have opportunity to, to be in the big in the big cup like that in Madison Square Garden everybody dream about so make you, your dream come true and say okay now we're gonna put this this friendship uh, out and we're gonna go to to fight Callum Smith has opponent no has a enemy or something like that because he has something that I want to be super champion too so Saturday is going to be a two hard worker fight, so don't miss it. Hassan, you've boxed at a very high level. Obviously, the win over Murata, you boxed Lemieux as well. You boxed Peter Quillen. You have a huge amount of experience. Do you think your experience is important in this fight? We all know that Callum Smith is a huge super middleweight, but you've been at middleweight for a long time, and moving up sometimes helps fighters as well. Do you think your experience is important on Saturday night? You know, uh, this is my first time in this level in super middleweight. I don't know how I'm going to feel, but I, I feel good. I feel like middleweight. It's not important to me to be very fast, very slow. I think I have experience for this kind of or match and this kind of event. But Madison Square Garden is something that everybody wants to dream to, to be there. So I think, yes, my experience is going to be a, a, very, a very first point to, to this match. Thank you very much, Hassan. We pass over to the defending champion who we saw at the end of last year put in an amazing performance to become world champion and knock out George Groves in the final of the World Boxing Super Series tournament. It was a, a real big moment for the Smith family. An incredible, incredible family when you think four brothers all of them have challenged for world titles. Um, two world champions as well in Liam Smith and Callum Smith. It's an incredible story and they're a fine bunch of, bunch of men and they've been great to work with over the period. This young man is emerging now as not just the best brother potentially, but potentially one of the top pound for pound fighters in the world. Already the standout number one in the 168 pound division. The mega fights are within touching distance. And now, firstly, he defends his title for the first time. And we can't wait because this man we've represented from his professional debut. And to see him grow to this level is extremely exciting. We know he's got a tough fight on Saturday, but like I said, the mega, mega fights sit within touching distance. Callum, welcome. No better place to make that first defense. No, oh, yeah, I feel good. I'm excited. I feel like this is like a new chapter in my career. Everton previously was always the journey to become a world champion and now I've achieved that it's now let's see what, how much more I can achieve and no better place to start my journey champion than Madison Square Garden it's such a an iconic fight venue with a lot of history and you know, to add my name to some of the Brits who've boxed here over the years it's going to be no special night for myself and say so I'm excited I'm looking forward to putting in a big performance I've been out a little longer than I'd have liked to have been but I want to make up for lost time I want to get back and you know, remind people how good I am yeah, obviously I've got a bit of stick for that. We know that a lot of it was because of the birth of, of your daughter. But you were supposed to fight last month, and we, we talked about that with Joe. But this was the date that you wanted, a lot of these guys wanted. And yeah. this is the platform. You know, we talk about the Canelo fight, and we know you've got business to take care of on Saturday. Yeah. But this is the platform to really go and make a statement. Yeah, there was other shows mentioned, but the minute Madison Square Garden was mentioned, and you know, AJ show is a bigger platform than any other, I, I just... It's a platform I plan on taking advantage of, and there's talks of massive names and possible fights for me in the future, but to secure them fights, I've got to perform the weekend. I've got to put in a good performance. I've got to win, most importantly, and say, put myself in line for the big fights, which is what they're the fights I'm in boxing for. They would excite me. They would motivate me, and say, I want to maximise my potential and achieve as much as I can, and that, all that starts on Saturday. You've shared rounds with Hassan and Dam, obviously, over the years. We've seen him in some great fights at middleweight. Expecting a tricky fight on Saturday, someone with experience and very determined as well. Yeah, he's a good fighter. He's very experienced. He's mixed at the highest level. He's a former world champion himself, and only the better fighters have beat him. And I believe I'm the best shoot middleweight in the world. And if that's true, it should be enough to beat Hassan and should be enough to beat him well and look good doing it. Finally, it's a massive night of sport for British fans back home, obviously you'll get a chance to watch the big match before heading to the arena. Yeah, hopefully you know, Liverpool can get a good win over Tottenham for the Champions League and then go into the early hours and 
myself and all the other top British fighters, it's some of the best fighters we've got back home on display the weekend. And they say it's a good, good night to box and have football for the, for the country and especially for Liverpool. Thank you, Callum. The World Super Middleweight World Championship on the line. Saturday night, Callum Smith against Hassan and Dan. We thank you for your time. Obviously, you know the fight week schedule remaining. Tomorrow is the final press conference for Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. And then on Friday, the big way in Madison Square Garden. Doors open at 3 p.m. If you haven't got your tickets yet for people watching this, make sure you apply for your tickets. A couple of thousand already gone. We're quite limited on space, so make sure you apply. It's completely free to enter but make sure you do grab your tickets for that. Thank you. And to all these guys, good luck. And I'm so proud of you and jealous of you that you get a chance to go out and just have an incredible night on Saturday. Thank you very much. We're going to do some heads-to-heads up here now, and all the guys are available for one.